Hey guys, my name is Alpha. Welcome to the Silver Gold Saver channel. Today we're going to talk about modern slabbed coins and what my thoughts are on these. So as you know, I am not a big fan of modern slabbed coins and the reason is not that they are, you know, not beautiful or that they don't have any value. It's just that for the most part modern technology and modern minting technology has come so far that especially for coins that are supposed to be collectible and not you know bullion or that they don't roll around in bags each of these coins technically should be perfect right modern minting technology should have it down to basically a science and so I'm not sure why some of them are graded imperfect or MS69 when for example this one I honestly can't tell the difference between this and a 70 to me this coin is is just perfect right and so I'm not sure so my, my case against um, modern slab coins is not that it doesn't add value not that it's you know not nice to have but that a 70 version of this would probably cost you know another 25% more than the um, the 69 version where I can't really tell the difference myself and I know that many of you feel the same way in that you get a coin straight from the mint right and you know it's still in the box literally and you send it in for grading and it comes in less than perfect and just mind-boggling you know when you actually see the coin and my other point and against kind of the um, grading for modern bullion is that you know the the graders don't tell you what's wrong with a coin right um they don't tell you that oh there's a mark you know right here you know for example and they don't kind of take a photo of the coin i think they do actually they they take a photo of the coin but mostly to kind of catalog it and what their grade was and to kind of put the serial number on on record and whatnot but they don't tell you what it is or what's wrong with it and, and why they graded it as a 69, 68 or whatever versus a 70. And they don't show you kind of an example of a 70. Um, and so to me, that's kind of very, very subjective. And I understand that grading, you know, by its nature is subjective. But my, my contention there is that they don't tell you what's wrong with it. And, and why it's it's lower graded. And I, I think the other point to that is that I've actually seen coins that are graded, you know, 69 that are, that cost less than a raw coin, meaning an ungraded coin, which doesn't make any sense at all because you don't know if the ungraded coin is a 70 or a 69 or a 68. Um, number one and number two somebody spent the money to send that coin in for grading so and it's in a capsule and it's in a protective case and everything so technically it should have added value than kind of a raw coin in its own original capsule without any grading but I have definitely seen coins that are ungraded in its original cap original you know um, package that cost more than you know a, a coin that has an ms69 or proof 69 um, grade in it which again doesn't make any sense to me um so you know to me i think in the future rather than buying you know paying a huge premium for a perfect coin um i think i'd actually prefer to to spend the, the money on an imperfect graded coin as long as in in my eyes and this is kind of the key thing in my eyes 
I don't see any imperfections to it, right? Because, for example, um, coins that have, you know, copper spotting or milk spotting, you know, they, I've heard that the, the grading agencies don't count those as imperfections because it's part of the minting process and, you know, you can't really stop it, especially for silver that tones, you can't stop the toning in silver or whatever, right? Um, uh, or, or milk spotting, you can't stop the milk spotting on silver. So, you know, there could be a, a you know, perfect graded coin, MS70 or Proof 70, that has milk spotting um, that is still a, a perfect grade because, you know, to the, to the grading agencies, milk spotting and copper spotting are okay. But in my view as, as a, you know, collector, and this is my, my preference, I don't like the milk spotting and I don't like the copper spotting. And so if it's a, you know, perfectly graded coin, you know, MS70 or Proof 70, um, but it has the milk spotting, I won't pick it up, you know. So that's just kind of, that's just me. Um, my only kind of exception, and it, that's why I emphasized, you know, I don't like graded um, modern coins is because of the minting technology and the price differential, but I actually don't mind graded, you know, older coins like like the, the Morgan dollar, right? Because this coin, for example, is over a hundred years old. And it, you know, like most of these coins were supposed to be minted for circulation. And so if you got one that, you know, survived over a hundred years, and it was supposed to be meant for circulation rather than some of these modern coins that, you know, were never meant to be circulated. That to me is is worth the grading. Um, I know that uh, a lot of you have have different views on it, and and that's totally fine. And and the reason why I have um, you know most of these coins is actual 70s. I know there's kind of a, a funny thing there. I got these on sale, right? I got. A lot of my coins, um, you know, these two in particular, in from like coin dealers or from coin shows, and you know, I I have a relationship with with a lot of these coin dealers and and uh, local coin shops, and so they gave me a good deal on them, um, such that you know it's not like a, a huge premium to get a perfect graded coin versus an imperfect graded coin. Um, so. Let me know your thoughts on, on slabs and, and graded modern coins. Uh, if you agree or disagree, let me know your, th your thoughts. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you.